So today we're taking a look at the Polymoon by Maris. This is a, a company known for their rack mount units. This is a delay pedal that they just put out that has so many different features and options on it that just are incredible. In this first clip that we just listened to, this is the settings that I had for it. We typically had like a standard delay. The multiply on here it, uh, is different rhythms for the actual delay sound. And the dimension here is how smooth the actual delay is. So if you have the dimension all the way up, it'll give you this really lush like reverb sound, which is not what we were going for on this one. So it was pretty much down all the way, just like slightly up. And the dynamic, which gives it this kind of weird like flanger kind of sound, it also manipulates the sound to sound much darker like a, uh, like a tape machine. And it uh, distorts the sound a little bit. And I used that one as well. So these were pretty close to the settings that I had for that first clip. So for the second clip that we just did, we put the mix up a lot higher and then we actually put that dimension up a little past midway which gave it that blur sound, made it sound more like a reverb. You could still hear a little bit of the tails in there because the dynamic was kept about the same. So when you're playing the note, it'll still do that, like, that weird um, pull into the note, but then it actually stretches it out and it blurs it into uh, what's, what sounds like a reverb. Alright, so putting the multiply a little bit past three here and putting the feedback pretty high up, we were able to get like that really weird spidery type sound, which I thought was cool. Don't really see it as a practical thing for music, but it is something that you could just like throw in as like a quick lead into another part. For this part, we got a, a simple dotted eighth. Really not a lot to explain about on that one. We pushed the dynamics all the way back down to zero, put the dimensions down to a little bit past, a little bit past zero, put the feedback towards the mid, and that just gave us our, our nice, like, creamy dotted eighth sound. Okay, so for this one, we put the dimension almost all the way to the end, took the dynamics off, put the feedback up a lot higher, the time was, was tap tempoed for this one, and then the mix was pushed almost towards the end so that the original signal was, was drowning in this reverb delay type sound. It came out really sweet, I really liked how that sounded. The application for that in music is endless. <laughs> The 
this was probably my favorite sound that I got out of this little exploration that we just did. What I did was I turned the dim dimension all the way to the bottom. The multiply was a little bit between three and four, which gave it that really weird rhythmic repeat that was like dun 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 dun. It kept doing that. I put the mix back to uh, just a little bit past 12 o'clock. The feedback was on 12 exactly, and then the time was somewhere a little past 12 to give it like a, where you would put like a dotted eighth or something. Man, did that come out cool. I was really happy with how that sounded. I kind of want to turn that into a song entirely, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So for this one, this wasn't just the Poly Moon by itself. I cheated a little bit and I had some help from the Dark Star by Old Blood Noise. But with this one, I put the, the pitch function on, hit some notes, turn the reverb up right away so I didn't have to do the hold function because you could use the hold function or you could put the reverb all the way up after hitting a note. After that, I started with the control one all the way to the right. I started with control one all the way to the right. And then after hitting the notes, I pushed it all the way slowly to the left. So it gave it that really nice slide into a deeper octave. And I kept the, the mix relatively low. I didn't want it to overpower anything. I wanted the focus to be still on the poly moon. So after that, I put the dimension around like eight o'clock. So it wasn't really uh, overpowering. I put the, the multiplier back to a standard like one or two in, in between there somewhere. Kept the time relatively quick. Pushed the feedback lower so it wasn't so much and then kept the dynamics off with the mix pretty much standard to give it just like a regular kind of delay sound just so that it accented something like the Dark Star. That riff took a few tries to do. In the end, I'm not exactly happy with how it went, but I had a time crunch, so I had to just finish it up and just move on. Okay, so for this clip, what I did was I pushed the uh, multiplier around like five or six and put the feedback relatively low and the mix kind of low as well with the dimension uh, up again towards the mid with the dynamics down. Something sort of like this, just to give like another simple lush reverb sound with a nice trail behind it. Nothing that's gonna really get in the way or nothing that's gonna like oversaturate uh, anything else that would be put into a mix with this particular piece. So for this one, again, we kept the multiply around like the one or two area, we kept the feedback about mid, the dimension was turned off, but the dynamics on here were pushed a little bit further than it had on any of the other recordings thus far. That's what gives it, again, that really weird like spring into, into the note sound that we've been getting. Um, it goes like a which is kind of cool. And I was trying to find a way to like make it sound like something cool and something eerie, but also stay true to, to the style of music that I do. And I think I was able to find like a nice compromise in there. To end it off, I kind of just pushed some things at random. Didn't uh, didn't really know what I had going on for it, and just gave like this kind of eerie sound. It sounded a little bit like it was sort of between like a three or a four on here, a dotted eighth style, and just kind of played it out. In my opinion, the Poly Moon by Maris is the best delay that I have ever used. 
I am someone who's had several different delays on my board forever now. Very big into delays. I think right now I have one, two, three, three. I just got rid of two extra ones that were on there and to put space for this guy right here. So this is probably going to be a staple on my board for a long time now. And it definitely gives it the punch and the flavor that it needs to just push my music to the next level. If you were interested in the Poly Moon by Maris, I say bite the bullet, go for it, and get this thing right away. Vintage King Audio sells it at a pretty good price. My guy over there was able to send me one out relatively quickly. I got it within two days, so that was awesome. Definitely something worth investing in, especially if you love delay. And also, if that wasn't enough for you, there is uh, the sync phase button here. If you hold this in, or you hold this guy in, actually, the alt hold button, you can change all the parameters of everything that's on here into something different. I didn't uh, dive into that. Those were kind of some strange sounds that I just didn't find a real musical application for. You, on the other hand, might. So if, if you're really into experimental, definitely give it a shot. You're really going to be pleased with this guy.